being vegan brings out our love and the benevolence. Part nine of thirteen on between master and disciples, held in English on December sixteen, two thousand and twenty-one. Bạn lòng ơi, ngày ấy tôi mang cây đàn, quen sống ca vui bên nàng, nay khóc thơ duyên lìa tan. Ignorance is the root cause of all greed, all problems, and all sin. Yes, master. Ignorance. They don't search enlightenment. They don't hear the Bible. Seek you first the kingdom of God, and all the things shall be added unto you. You don't just put on a robe and then you see the kingdom of God. No, you can see the kingdom of God in your bathroom, in your birthday suit, <laughs> naked in the bathroom, sure. even mm. if you do really seek. Mm. If you have someone who helps you mm. to tell you how, and then you can see God right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I keep saying that, but nobody believes me because it seems too good to be true. Yeah. But why? God is within you. The Bible says that. Yes, yes master. You just look. You have to look in the right place. It's just like you put money in your pocket. You forgot, and then you look all over. Then you never find it. Mm-hmm. Many people wear glasses. They put them on top of their heads, and then they look <laughs> all over. Me too. <laughs> you know, written glasses. Yes, yes master. Yeah. Sometimes you take it and you push it on top of your head yeah. because you don't need, yeah? yeah. And then you go looking all over. I I also did that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, <laughs> several times, yeah. Or if you put the money somewhere very secretive and then you forgot all about it, too secret, you forgot. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> then you don't know where. That's all. You just have to look in the right place. Yes. Yeah. But most of the people understand nothing. They just think they go to church, go to temple, put some money in there, or bring some fruit or offer into monks, and that's enough. That is very excellent already. Yeah, it's very good. But you must also find enlightenment yourself, because those monks, those priests, mostly they are themselves not enlightened. Mm-hmm. Yes, master. So they just hope to be enlightened. But like the master said, you cannot polish the brick. To make it into a mirror. Yes, it is like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's not the nature of enlightenment. Just to sit or to wear the robe or to keep praying all day long or uh, or counting the beats, telling the beats. Yes, it's not the nature of enlightenment. The enlightenment is already there in you. You just have to look in the right direction. You just have to save time to do it. Yes, yes myself. Yeah, you know everything already. <laughs> I'm talking not just to you, okay? Yes, sure. yes. I'm talking to the angels who are watching, listening to the saints and sages. Thank you for visiting, and to the people outside, their souls are listening. Yes, m i s t e r All the people, all the animals, people, all the trees, the streams, the rivers, the oceans. I'm talking to all of them. Wow. To the stones, even they all have souls. To the COVID, even I tell you a secret. I just one moment. I ask if I can. Okay, yeah, I have permission. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I do hope I heard it right. <laughs> if not, if not, then the karma falls back on me. Oh. The other day, I asked the chief of all the COVID. Oh. I said, uh, "Will you also punish me if I go out, for example, and?" Will you make me become infected as well, like everyone else? He said, "No, mm. no, we won't mm. do that." Oh, wow. good. So I asked him, "But uh, why? Yeah. I'm also in the risk group, yeah. old." <laughs> <laughs> They said, "For the elderly people, it's more risky with the pandemic, right?" Yes, yes, yes. Sir. yes. And now it's a uh, Omicron. It's even worse or mm. Delta. Mm. So I said, "Suppose I go out, if I have to, will you also make me infected?" Will you also ask your soldier to infect me? He say no, we won't do that. So I say, but why? How? All the people, whoever, even my own disciples, if they don't meditate well, they also get infected. Even though they're either and they recover, mm-hmm. it's not serious, but they still got infected. Wouldn't I be like that also? Mm. He said, no, no, you won't be. I said, but why? He told me because you don't put meat in your mouth. Mm. I said, of course, of course not. 
course not. I know better now. Mm. I never wanted it, even when I was a child already. Mm. I was forced to. And then mm. it became like a trend, you know, a habit in your life. But as soon as I knew, I stopped. Mm. Yes, Master. I love the animal, people. I don't want to eat them. He said, see, that's why. I press further, and this is the secret. Mm. Yes, Master. So that maybe you can learn something from it. Or maybe not you, but outside disciples and outside people. Yes, Master. If they want to learn the secret, I tell them. Originally, I was afraid to tell because maybe if I tell, then it won't work for me. <laughs> Sometimes secrets, you must keep. Yes, yes Master. So I asked him, I pressed further. I said, suppose I go out and I'm not in my own place. I cannot cook for myself. I cannot choose what I eat and maybe I eat in a restaurant and if I eat meat accidentally, if I didn't know and I might eat it, then I would be infected and sick as well, right? At that time, you cannot say that I didn't put meat in my mouth. Will you also make me infected? He said no. Oh. I said, why? Why? If I even accidentally eat it, I still eat meat, no? He said, no, no, because you don't do it on purpose because you are benevolent. That's the word he said. Oh. And I didn't talk further. I don't know why, I just ponder up about it. Oh. He just left and I just didn't need to ask anymore. So the secret is don't put meat in your mouth and be benevolent. Oh. Well, if you're vegan, that is benevolent already. But if you have more love, you know, true love also. But being vegan, you will have love. Yes, 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 yes. People will just develop love automatically. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Because you go in the right direction and things we happen in that direction, opposite to the way you went before. So it's just automatic. Yes, 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 master. If you start to be vegan, you, you know why already. Yes. Even if you don't do it for love, but you just try. And because of go in that direction, even though you go blindly, but you go in the right direction, then you will arrive where everybody else also goes with intention. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. yes so being vegan, it's life-saving, it's soul-saving. Wow. Benevolent and vegan, we, we save you. Wow, it's wonderful. Thank you, Master. Thank, Thank you, Master, Master, for sharing that secret. You are welcome. There are also some other secrets. I cannot tell you right now, but I have written it in my diary. One day, maybe you will know. See, benevolence we must have. Benevolence, you cannot learn, but you can try. Yes, 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 yes. And if you're vegan, then your benevolence, your love, your inherent loving quality will come out. And then you will feel sorry for the homeless. You will feel sorry for the poor and the sick. Truly sorry, not just talk. And you will help what you can or comfort them in any way you can or pray for them with your heart, with your love. That is benevolence. Doesn't have to be going out and giving millions of dollars with cameras are clicking everywhere. Yeah. Just one second, please. I have to take off my jacket. Yeah. I went out before and then came back in to do the conference. I didn't want to take it off to keep warm. Yeah. Now with an adrenaline rush, uh -huh. I'm too hot okay. <laughs> to take the jacket off. Um, so remember, vegan and benevolent. Yes, Master. Feeling sorry for others. Even if you don't think you have it, you just try to imagine, for example, the homeless man, he sleeps under the bridge. He sleeps in a carton box. Mm -hmm. He probably did not have a meal that day because nobody gave him any money. He doesn't have a blanket. He has no cover, no protection from the elements, from the cold wind. Imagine if it's you. Because you go out in the yard or in the street, then you know how cold it is. Yeah. Even if you are fully protected by a big coat. So imagine you are that homeless man, then you feel a little sympathy. Mm. Just imagine really like that. Imagine hard. Food, being hungry, where that where where our next meal's coming from. Um, you really don't know what what the next day is gonna hold. You really live day by day out here. Some days you just wanna cry yourself to sleep because it you feel helpless and, home, and, and and hopelessness. I had one of those points where why, why am I out here and I try to kill myself because of it. I didn't know why I was out here. I was, I, 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 I didn't want to live this life. For me, being, being homeless in the wintertime was horrible. 
I wouldn't wor- I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, man. This is the worst thing I could I could possibly think of because it, it's not fun. It's I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Just being looked at like you're no good. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes. I would wish for the strength to continue fighting. I would wish that others could get out of this too. And I'd wish for understanding and compassion for everybody, like just knowledge, I guess. Three wishes are hard. They're hard not to take for yourself. Oh, imagine that you are the child that's been raped by the big fat priest with no one else there to rescue you. You mm. can't even talk. Yeah. He crushes in you. Yeah, he crushes you. You probably could not breathe being so tender and so delicate. Yes, yes, yes master. And he's so big and fat and looks mighty and powerful and you're scared to death. Yeah. He even threatens if you tell somebody, you will be condemned forever. Eternal damnation on you if you tell people. Yes. yes. How many children don't dare tell? Also, not just the parents don't listen. Mm. Yes. I was afraid to tell my mother because I didn't think she would believe me. She'd say a priest would never do something like that to children. I kept it a secret. Nobody would believe that a priest wearing such a dignified monk robe and walking tall and talking like a god. Yes. And with all this uh, spilling out from his mouth, the compassion, the virtues. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Fear God, love God, believe Jesus and all that. Yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How would anybody believe? Yeah. You see, he was trained to be dignified, trustworthy, mighty looking, mm-hmm. benevolent appearance. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Who would believe it? Right. Just like the army or the police, they are trained to look awesome. Mm. Powerful, mm. authoritative. Yes, yes master. master. So even just to look at the police, you slow down. <laughs> 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 slow down your bicycle or your car. Yes, yes, master. Even if you didn't do anything yet. Yeah. He just stands there maybe not to catch you for something else. Mm. Yes. You just uh, kind of uh, have respect for him. That's true. Or the army people. Mm. They look really strong, powerful, yes. protective. They look good. They're trained to. Yes. They have to walk the way they walk. Yeah. Even women also, they walk differently. Yeah, yeah. They're trained to walk with dignity, mm. with self-confidence. Yes. They look very awesome. Yes. And young and enthusiastic and well trained for many aspects, many talents. Yes. <laughs> No to vegan? All beings will think you are heartless, but you have a heart. Just change to a real good one. <laughs>